Welcome to my new channel, Red Thread Canvas Works. This is the inaugural video, and the purpose of the channel is to basically advertise uh, these custom canvas accessories that I'm making for the Kodiak Canvas line of tents. This particular model of tent is the 12x12 Lodge. I'll step out a little bit. Here's the enclosure. The enclosure is 8 foot by 8 foot, uh, and then the body of the tent itself is 12 by 12. The material that I'm making these uh, accessories from is 10 ounce untreated cotton canvas. Um, it's untreated, it's breathable, uh, it's also uh, launderable. Uh, I don't even know if that's a word. Basically you can wash it in a washing machine obviously uh, something of the size you wouldn't wash in your home machine but you could take it to a laundromat and uh, if it's heavily soiled you could wash it in one of their big industrial machines it is uh, virgin cotton it is not pre-shrunk so what I recommend if you are to wash your uh, floor liner is to uh, stick with cold or warm water at the hottest and a low heat dry or better yet hang it to dry why use a liner uh, to begin with it really does help keep your tent clean it's a lot easier to roll this up and take it out and shake it out at when at the end of your trip than it is to try to sweep up the uh, vinyl also when you're sweeping the vinyl you're creating static electricity and what that does is it holds that really fine dust to the vinyl of the floor and uh, when you drop your tent that dust will go all over the roof of your tent up here and it'll make your tent filthy now I, I'm speaking from experience uh, you may have seen my other videos on my other channel DIY Wyoming uh, where I spend months in Kodiak canvas tents uh, specifically the uh, the 12 by 9 cabin tent this is my first year with this uh, 12 by 12 tent and so I'm speaking from experience with that really fine dust uh, if you don't get in here with a uh, a bucket of water and a and a uh, washcloth then uh, and hand mop it all up you're gonna wind up with all that dust all over your roof of your brand new canvas tent also another reason for a floor liner is it's a lot more comfortable walking around on cotton than it is walking around on that vinyl so at the end of your trip uh, once you pull all your furniture out of here your cots and whatnot all you have to do is roll this canvas up take it outside and shake it out so like I said this is the 12 by 12 uh, the cost of this is $115 that includes shipping I will also uh, for $115 I'll offer a 10 by 14 uh, floor liner for the 10 by 14 flexbo tent the 12 by 9 floor liner will be $100 the 10 by 10 floor liner for the Flexbo tent will be $95 and the 9 by 8 will be $85 and I'll put all the uh, prices sizes and prices down in the description below so that uh, you can reference that another thing that I make for these floor liners uh, is this canvas bag here it's a carrying bag now if you already have a floor liner um, say you bought one through Kodiak canvas which they I don't, don't know if I mentioned it or not but they don't offer this 12 by 12 yet so that right there is uh, one of my own features for this tent but anyway uh, if you do have a bag already you or excuse me a uh, floor liner you can buy a canvas carrying bag from me as you can see it's a cinch stack and this is actually a 10 by 10 floor liner in the bag uh, it's heavy heavy canvas the 10 ounce canvas untreated canvas heavy duty stitching throughout uh, double rolled hem double rolled hems uh, as an example this is uh, one of my uh, test pieces here and the hem is double rolled so there won't be any fraying uh, like you see here on the ends the thread I use is a uh, heavy duty nylon thread, a synthetic thread, and uh, my stitch count is usually around 8 per inch. Uh, machine I have, sometimes the feeder, uh, 
skips a little bit or you know it doesn't uh give me exactly eight you know so it'll be at least six but usually around eight stitches per inch and they're uniform like i said you know i don't want to say always and then somebody actually measures it and say oh i only got seven stitches per inch so i try to get it at eight stitches per inch and it's a it's a heavy uh like i said heavy duty thread and it makes a really good hem it's not coming apart and it is stitched like that all the way around that's why uh, I use a red thread it stands out from the white canvas um, so that you can see the quality and the stitching and the sewing but anyway getting back to this bag if you already have a floor liner that you bought through Kodiak canvas or you got some other way then uh, you can buy the bag for $20 and that includes shipping if you buy a floor liner and a bag combo I'll give you the bag for 15 so I'll give you a little bit of a discount there, a little bit of a break. Moving along, another thing that I'm making are log carriers. And uh, this log carrier is made, again, from the 10-ounce canvas, untreated so that if it gets dirty, you can wash it. The uh, dimensions of it are 20 inches wide by 46 inches long. And... Everything about it is heavy duty, uh, double reinforced uh, attachment points. Uh, the material's doubled over where it's sewn together. And the handles are made of, an, of a uh, cotton polyester blend webbing, uh, kind of like a, a military belt. Same construction, reinforced attachment points. And as you can see, it's got ample room carry plenty of firewood you can lay it out and use it as a uh, place to put your your logs to keep the majority of the dirt from the uh, floor liner itself okay uh, let's see moving along and again I'll put the uh, items down in the descriptions and the cost and remember that all the the prices all include shipping another thing that I'm making are these uh, organizers now this one here it this is a prototype it will receive another strap right in the center uh, so that we don't get that sag so there will be one more strap in the center to uh, keep that from sagging like it is but the uh, the large organizer here is 22 inches wide by 26 and a half inches long you can see numerous pockets you can organize your your flatware you can use in the kitchen uh, it's mainly developed here uh, for this enclosure with the uh, to work in conjunction with that framing and if you have uh, a different tent uh, then this may also work with your uh, wall tent uh, as long as you have the internal framing like that so the price on the uh, the large organizer is thirty dollars then i have a smaller organizer here that sells for 22 the dimensions of this organizer is uh 12 inches wide by 20 inches tall or long the velcro that holds this up is the heavy duty 10 pound rated velcro on each side and the uh, strapping material again is that uh cotton polyester blend webbing material Okay, we'll talk a little bit about some stuff that I don't have made yet, but it is coming up. So, you know, for the channel, like it, subscribe, and uh, also go ahead and uh, hit the notifications bells because I'm going to be coming up with more videos, more products, and making videos of them to uh, put up on the channel. Uh, first thing that I'm going to be making, uh, like I said, this is an untreated canvas. So... You know, in order to help keep it a lot cleaner, uh, especially in muddy conditions, I will be making a three foot by five foot treated canvas throw that you can either put on the inside in there, you can put it out here. Uh, I'm gonna put grommets on the corners. If you wanted to, you could actually put it outside your tent and stake it down. 
or you can buy more than one you can put one out here you can put one in there you can also use a tree to canvas throw uh, next to your wood stove and when you bring your firewood in you can just go ahead and stack it on that throw the uh, tentative price for the uh, three foot by five foot tree to canvas throw will be roughly twenty dollars the other thing that I'm developing uh, are pole bags now, especially this 12 by 12 tent but pretty much all the uh, the coat or the Kodiak 12 by 9 cabin tent and this lodge tent the, the tents are great the uh, pole bags are not the pole bag especially for this one when you put the poles in this tent or for this tent in the pole bag you barely got any room at the top to, to bunch the material up and use the uh, the sewn on tie to close the lip of the uh, of the bag so I am going to be making canvas bags super reinforced be reinforced with poly tarp on the interior and all the wear points to keep the poles from wearing through and the uh, tentative price for that right now is $55 the uh, I'll also be making steak bags from this uh, 10 ounce canvas uh, that you, you can purchase those will be $12 for the hunters, I will be making game bags, uh, be made out of this untreated 10 ounce canvas, uh, superior breathability, and they will be more than ample to hold large game quarters. Uh, for example, elk, or excuse me, uh, well yeah, elk and caribou, but moose is the main one, and if it'll hold a moose quarter, it'll hold pretty much anything. So. Tentative price on those will be $25 per bag. Uh, everything will be super reinforced, double stitched, rolled hem. Uh, it'll be worth the money. Another thing that I'm going to be uh, making is a uh, deer sock. Now, if you don't know what a deer sock is, if you hang your deer whole, you know, you've got it and skin it and hang it whole, uh, a deer sock will encase an entire deer all the way up to its neck and then you can tie it off at the neck and it'll keep the bugs and the dirt uh, off your meat and you can hang the deer whole without having to quarter it up. Another thing that I'll be coming out with is a line of aprons. Uh, you know, you're, if you're going to cook in camp, you need an apron. You need, uh, I keep walking back into here because this is my cook shack. This is where my kitchen is normally. So, same material, uh, along the same lines. As the organizers, they'll have some pockets on it, uh, nothing excessive or anything like that, but it'll be a nice apron, heavy duty canvas apron. And another thing I'll probably make are some tote bags, uh, just you know, from excess material that I've got left uh, from cutting these other things out. So I'll be making some tote bags, you know, that'll sell for roughly about $10 each. Uh, for right now, that's it. So again, like I said, uh, subscribe, um, like, like the video so that the YouTube algorithm will get this video out uh, on people's feeds. And also don't forget to hit the notification button. That way, if you, uh, you know, you'll get notified when I post new videos of the upcoming products. And you can always leave me a comment. I will answer comments as quickly as I can. Right now, uh, the best way to get a hold of me will be through my, either through the comments, we can do it like that, or at my uh, email, which is redthreadcanvas, just redthreadcanvas at outlook.com. And uh, I'll be accepting payments through Cash App and Venmo. Um, we'll do it that way. I don't really care for PayPal directly all that much. So... That's how I'll be accepting payments and we'll be doing orders through uh, the email address. And again, that's redthreadcanvas at outlook.com. So, yeah, basically, you know, ask any questions that you have. And uh, also keep in mind that if you have a different uh, model of tent but you need a pole bag for it, you know, give me, give me the dimensions. I, I can make custom make pole bags um, take pictures of the poles that way I know what I'm working with and how long they are and how big of a diameter you need we can go that way 
I can make uh, these uh, floor liners for other size of tents. Uh, keeping it relatively small, um, I'm not going to be making them for any of the huge 16 by 20 uh, McMansion tents that are out there. But, uh, you know, tents roughly, you know, the sizes that I've already stated, I'll make, I'll make uh, floor liners for those. I'm also going to develop a poly tarp uh, cover for this, which is going to have to be custom made uh, because of the different uh, the framing for the tent. And you, I don't know if you can hear it, the wind's really blowing pretty good right now. And uh, it's flapping around. Unfortunately, the way I made it, it's a failure. Uh, so keep a keep a, a lookout for a video for that. I'm gonna try to try to do things differently and see if I can't come up with a better solution than what I've done so far. But anyway, that's it. Um, again, thanks for watching. Drop me a comment, ask me questions, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.